Guys, here's a very powerful scripture in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. And it, it, it starts off by saying, uh, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. It's, it's very interesting that Paul started off with do not be deceived. It's very possible to be deceived. Um, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor ex extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. But this is where it gets really good. It says, and such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of of our God. Guys, this this proves that you cannot be both this and that. You cannot be both this and that. Such were some of you. This denotes this this tells us that there has been an identity change. Guys, there has been an identity change. Your your identity is no longer this these things. This is not your identity. But in the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God, your identity has been changed. It says you were, you're either washed or you're this. You're either sanctified or you're this. It's, it's not uh, both. It's, it's, it's either or. And there's a scripture in James that says when sin becomes full grown, it leads to death. When sin becomes full grown. So guys, in other words, when sin becomes full grown... You become spiritually dead, and 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 by um, the spirit of our God, that that means that you don't have the Holy Spirit. Your spirit is not connected uh, with God. And and something that uh, was revealed to me that when sin becomes full grown, at least to death. When sin becomes full grown, that means that it has become who you are. It becomes who you are. You you literally become that. You literally become these things that you're no longer. You no longer are um, uh, uh, the actual person or the, the your soul becomes this. Your soul becomes this. Uh, a drunkard, uh, extortioner. That your soul becomes this. You're, you're either justified or you're that. So it's, it's a very powerful switch here that, that what happens when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ and receive the spirit of our God. There's an identity change. Something has happened here. You're, you're not both. You're either or. Because when sin becomes full grown, you, you become this, this thing, these things, these sins, these offenses to God. You become this. So, or you become this, or you're this. You're washed, you're sanctified, and you're justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. So, God, guys, hold out your hands and pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, I receive you into my life. I surrender my life to you now. In Jesus' name, amen.